so chat gpt is everywhere as of now so you must have seen at least one post of this chat gpt on any of the social media maybe it's twitter maybe it's youtube it's everywhere so this ai is able to answer all the questions in a very natural way just like we interact with a human and not only that it can also answer some of the weird questions some of the hypothetical uh, questions or it can also generate some poems and paragraphs and movie scripts on any random thing possible okay not only that people are saying this chatbot or this ai can steal the job of programmers because this bot can write the complete code in any language so i thought why not to test it out for this particular field of iot electronics and let us ask uh, this ai the questions about arduino esp32 raspberry pi and is this ai will be able to write the code for us in arduino ide specifically or micro python specifically well let us test it out and let's see how much useful this ai is for the iot electronic enthusiasts like us let me take you to my computer. So let's first start with some easy questions like what is IoT? Let's just see what it responds. So in the Internet of Things is a network of physical device, vehicles, home appliances and other items that are embedded with electronic software sensors connectivity to enable these objects to connect and exchange data. What a perfect definition of IoT. So whenever you're going for an IoT interview, well, some ask a couple of questions to this AI so that you can crack your interview in much you know smarter way. Let's just uh, uh, ask some tricky questions. Explain uh, IoT in Hindi. Let us see if it responds or not. Oh my God. भाई साहब ये हिंदी में एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हैं सो इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स आई एक नेटवर्क है जो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सॉफ्टवेयर सेंसर्स और कनेक्टिविटी के साथ एम्बेड किया गए फ्रिज वाहन घरेलू उपकरण और अन्य वस्तुओं का समूह है यह इन वस्तुओं को एक दूसरे के साथ और अन्य इंटरनेट सक्षम डिवाइसों और सिस्टम के साथ डेटा कनेक्ट और एक्सचेंज करने की क्षमता प्रदान करता है इससे विभिन्न प्रकार की वस्तुओं को कनेक्ट और दूर दूरस्थ भाई क्या है नियंत्रित किया जाता है जो इन्हें दुनिया भर से मॉनिटर और नियंत्रित किया जा सकता है दिस कैन ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन यू द ट्रिकी टर्म्स द हाई टेक टर्म्स इन हिंदी इन अ वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज जस्ट अमेजिंग लेट इस ट्राई आउट सम डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट is the future of iot let us see what is the future of iot according to this ai so future of internet of things is expected to be very bright as more and more devices are being connected to internet and can collect exchange data this is uh, expected to a uh, lead to lead a wide range of new applications and services as well as new ways of managing and controlling our daily lives some potential areas of growth for iot include smart home smart cities industry 4.0 wow he knows about industry 4.0 as well or of the future of iot is expected to be very exciting as it continues to evolve grow and more and more devices and systems are connected to internet so for all those who are thinking to shift their career in iot well it's clearly visible that iot has a great future ahead so go for the iot as your career let me ask some uh, more questions like suggest me some youtube channels uh, for iot education let us see if it can suggest us some youtube channels there are many youtube channels that offers educational content of int on internet of things and here are few of them so iot central i haven't heard about iot for all again i haven't heard about the internet of things iot trends iot learning are these the youtube channels seriously i don't know but yeah these are some of the youtube channels suggested by ai let me ask some different question like suggest me some youtube channel for uh, iot projects let's just see what uh, channels uh, now he suggests i'm not expecting my channel though but i'm expecting some of the familiar channels in the in the field of iot education that some of you or many of you must be aware about let's see what happens so uh, iot projects iot maker diy iot projects arduino projects raspberry pi projects so these are some common terms or common names uh, it there might be some of the youtube channel with the same name i don't know but yeah they suggested some of the youtube channels now let me ask one common question that uh, many of the audience uh, usually ask to the youtubers like how youtubers make money this is the common question asked to a lot of audience by youtubers including me as well so let us see what ai has to answer for this so there are several ways youtuber can earn money so advertising on youtube sponsored content merchandise crowdfunding 
And overall, there are many different ways YouTubers can earn money in their videos. A specific method they will uh, that they use will depend upon their audience, their content, and goals. So yeah, as he said, sponsored content is a way to uh, make money on YouTube. So let me just show you one sponsorship clip so I can also earn money. And after that, I'll ask some really interesting questions about ESP32, Arduino, and can AI help us to write code as well? Well, definitely, I'll test it out after this short ad. Do you know what most electronic companies have something in common? Well, it's the tool that they use for making their products and the most commonly used tool that almost all the big electronic companies uses is the LTM PCB designer software. Using LTM, you can definitely level up your PCB designing skills and make something really professional out of it. And now along with the integration of Octopart, searching for any electronic components globally becomes really very easy. Octopart is kind of Google for just electronic components where you can search for any electronic parts and get their information all on one single web page. So do check out this amazing search engine made just for electronic components. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Do check it out. Okay, so coming back to our video. Now let's ask some core electronics projects like suggest me some microcontroller board for IoT projects. Let's just see if it can answer the boards like Arduino, ESP32, Raspberry Pi or a couple of those boards. Let's just wait. Okay, so he suggested Arduino first of all, then Raspberry Pi, then Particle. Yes, Particle is also an IoT board. ESP32, our favorite ESP32 is here in the list. So there are a couple of boards suggested by this AI, which are like, uh, you know, used in the field of IoT. That's great. Let me just ask a very random question like, is ESP32 better than Arduino? Let's just see if it, it can give some specific answers like yes or no, or maybe it can give some reason to us. Let's just see whether the ESP32 is better than Arduino for a particular project will depend on the specific needs or diplomatic answer. Both ESP32 and Arduino have their own strength and weakness. Again, diplomatic answer. So here are a couple of points com uh, he compared. So first is the connectivity. So ESP32 has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is a good choice for projects. Arduino, on the other hand, don't have built-in connectivity option. That's a great comparison. Second is processing power. So ESP32 has faster processor more memory than arduino which means it can handle more complex tasks and larger programs perfect man he compared a couple of parameters as well and cost let's just see esp32 is generally more expensive than arduino so if the cost is the major factor in your decision arduino might be better option not not all the time we are selling the esp32 at the cheapest price maybe less than an arduino board <laughs> so however keep in mind the cost of adding wi-fi bluetooth to arduino project can add up all or cost of your project maybe similar overall both esp32 and arduino are powerful microcontroller boards that can have a wide range of IoT projects. The best choice for your project will depend on your specific needs and goals. So I've seen like I have tried this chat GPT for a couple of questions and every time it answers very diplomatically, it is never answering in a specific reason. So whenever you're comparing two or more things, it won't let you know that this is the best of all. It will just say it depends upon your choice. It's depend upon your situation. It will also always answer in diplomatic uh, way only. Let us see in one more comparison question. So is ESP32 better than uh, Raspberry Pi? Let's just see. So its answer should be no, of course, because Raspberry Pi is way more capable, but I, I know it will answer in a diplomatic way only. Like it depends upon your project. Uh, purposes. <laughs> Whether ESP32 is better than Raspberry Pi for a particular project will depend on the specific need. As I said, okay, still it compared a couple of parameters like connectivity. So ESP32 has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in it. Raspberry Pi don't have built-in connectivity option. Hey, this is the wrong answer. Yes, Raspberry Pi also have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but it may have compared the Raspberry Pi version one but that doesn't have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in it. But let's let just move ahead. Processing power, then Raspberry Pi is more powerful. That's a perfect point. And then cost, ESP32 is generally less expensive. That's an uh, actual right answer. So overall ESP32 and Raspberry Pi are powerful microcontroller boards, not microcontroller. This is a microprocessor board for a wide range of IoT projects. So yeah, that was the answer. Let me ask one random question, uh, which no one ever asks so ask on Google and let's just see if this AI can answer me that question. So I'll ask what happens if I connect ESP32 with one kilo volt AC power. <laughs> Let's just see if it answers this question or not. It is not safe to connect ESP32 microcontroller board to an AC power source of 
a 1 kilovolt voltage esp3 is not designed to handle such high voltage doing so could damage your board potentially cause fire or other safety hazard wow yaar so this can actually understand your question and react based upon the question you have asked and it's a perfect answer it's not you know uh, recommended to connect esp3 to with the 1 kilovolt ac power source and may uh, may create damage fire perfect answer man that's a really great ai tool let's just ask a couple of more questions like mm, let's go on to iot like what uh, what do you think about matter protocol in iot let's see if uh, ai knows about the matter protocol or not i'm sorry i'm not able to browse the internet or have any knowledge about current and events or developments i am a i am a large language model trained by open ai and my knowledge based on text that i was trained on my training data only goes up to 2021 i don't have ability to browse the internet okay so it was not able to answer the questions about the matter protocol let us ask a different question like suggest me some best communication protocols for iot let's just see if it can suggest some of the iot communication protocols there are many different communication protocols so mqtt is one of the protocol http is another coap is another amqp is another so yes it knows about those iot protocols as well so again one thing whenever you are going for an iot interview well do ask a couple of questions to you aapko bahut zyada help milegi to crack that interview now enough about the theoretical question now let's just test this out that is this chat bot or ai can actually help us to write code because i have explored internet and people are saying this uh, this tool can you know finish the job of the developers like this can write complete code for you let us see if it is able to write the arduino and the micro python codes for us or not let's try with a simple code like write a code to blink led in arduino i don't think it can write a code for arduino specifically but let us see Oh my god it actually wrote the code for led blinking at pin 13 with a delay of 1 second with a proper command as well and i can directly copy the code and use it for my project and it's absolutely error free code wow yaar let's just try and make a something like a little bit difficult for it so write a code to blink led at pin 10 with a delay of 10 second in arduino so i have provided a couple of parameters like a pin number and the delay time and now let's just see if it can perform or not are bhai saab man it actually wrote the exact code which i have written for so led pin is 10 led is high for 10 second and led is low for 10 second it's a it's an amazing man perfect code likha yaar without any single error Let us make a one step difficult. So as of now, it don't require any library for it. But now let me ask to write a code for ESP32 that do require the Wi-Fi dot as library. Okay, so I'll write a like ask it to write a code to connect ESP32 with Wi-Fi in Arduino. This is a little bit difficult because it do require an external library to be included. Let us see. This is a simple code. Has it? Oh my God. भाई इसने वाई फाई डॉट एस लाइब्रेरी इंक्लूड कर दी लेट जस्ट सी द कम्प्लीट कोड और बाप रे दिस इज अमेजिंग मैन दिस दिस इज अमेजिंग ही इट रोड कंप्लीट कोड लाइन टू लाइन विद प्रॉपर कमेंट एंड विद प्रॉपर सिंटेक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू आर डी नो आई डी ई literally man like the code developers job is in danger now let's just make it one more step uh, like a tough I I'll ask to write a code for Blink IoT platform. Let's see if it can perform or not. Uh, write a code to control a virtual pin V2 of Blink IoT cloud on ESP32 using Arduino IDE. Oh my! God it actually included the perfect library for blink which is blink simple esp32 and let's just see if it is controlling the virtual pin v2 uh v pin okay v pin is v2 blink dot virtual read v pin so it is actually reading the data from virtual pin v2 of blink iot cloud in esp32 again a perfect error free code wow and i don't need any interns in my office anymore i can ask this ai to write a code for me 
and it will write it straight away let's just ask for one more time for arduino iot cloud uh, this time so write a code for controlling led using arduino iot cloud in esp32 let's just see if it knows about the arduino iot cloud as well or not okay so arduino iot cloud dot add so it knows the library of that particular cloud platform well this is difficult for me as well to understand whether the code is perfect or not because i don't have much experience about arduino iot cloud but yeah it was able to write the code for that that's a really big thing but let's just see if it can able to write the code in micro python so write a code to blink led in esp32 using micro python this time Ooh, let's just see if it <laughs> is able to do that as well. <laughs> there are no words for me. It actually wrote the code and explained the code here as well. This is an amazing AI tool. Man, it can do a lot of stuff. So do test it out. Try it out. It's an amazing tool and it's really, really very helpful for all the programmers as well but it may steal their job because it can do all the tasks by just typing our requirement. It can write poems, it can write essays, it can write books, it can write movie scripts as well. Let's try out last question, okay? Write a movie script based on ESP32. This is a very weird question I have asked to uh, this AI. Write a movie script based on ESP32. Let's just see what it a response in this question and this will be the last question for sure wow the title is esp32 bandit uh the scratching desert sun beats down the empty road a long figure emerges from the heat haze riding a motorcycle it's jen a tough resourceful hacker on the run from the law jen i never thought i would end up wrong side law but the government tried to shut down my research i knew i had to fight back oh my god is the puri movie ki script lik diye yaar and what is ESP32's role here? So Jen is riding down the deserted highway, the wind weeping through her hair. I knew I couldn't trust anyone with the ESP32. I had to keep it safe no matter what. I don't know what's the role of ESP32 here, but it actually wrote a kind of a script based on ESP32. I don't know it is perfect or not, but yeah, he says Jan is working on a prototype microcontroller board, the ESP32. Actually, he understands that ESP32 is a microcontroller board and he written a movie script for that microcontroller board. Man, amazing. So do try this out. I'll leave the link of this chat bot down in the description of this video. And uh, what do you think about this AI? Like, what is the future of this? this can this, you know... Um, put the life of programmers in danger let me know your thoughts about this ai down in the comments of the video and i made this video just to test out is this a chat bot or ai can respond to our core tech iot project space question and it actually responded pretty well do click a like to this video if you really loved it and also do try it out and yeah that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video then explore learn share with me Techie SMS.